Hey guys, and welcome back to Ray's Trains. Today's episode, I've got some more Lionel rolling stock for you. It's actually been a little bit for these. I've been on an MTH kick. We did some Menard stuff. We did some passenger cars, but we're back to some Lionel uh, rolling stock. And uh, when I got my coal loader, I realized uh, I had only had one uh, coal hopper. <laughs> this is this was all, this was it. So I said, you know what? If I'm gonna have an actual coal loader on my layout, should probably get at least a couple more cars <laughs> for that. So let's take a look at what I got. Um, I did pick these up at Gerzboski's, and uh, it was a good price, um, and I don't know, they looked cool, so I'll show them off here. They are two CSX um, bathtub gondolas, so here's one, and they, they do have a coal load in there. And here's the other. And the cool thing of why I wanted to get this two pack is one of them actually has the end of train device, the little blinking thing. And that's that's my first one of that. So I just thought, um, I thought the two of these and my other one, <laughs> I thought they would look cool together. Be a nice, uh, nice little three, uh, three, three pack kind of <laughs> so we'll just get right into it we'll we'll open these up we'll put them on my little track and uh, we'll take a closer look at them all right first gondola here looks really good a lot of nice detail here um now with these rotary uh bathtub gondolas i'm gonna assume i haven't tried this yet these couplers should spin so that, yep, it does. <laughs> so you put these in one of those um, coal dumping things where it holds the car and it turns it 360 degrees to dump the coal load. Uh, and I actually saw those at York. Um, some people, it was, I forget what company it was. It was a, it was a high-end uh, model company that made one. I, I think it was the same company that makes those really nice um, turntables. The The name's escaping me, but they had one of the uh, coal dumping uh, rotary things there. So the you could actually use that for real on your layout with because these couplers turn, which is very cool. Um, again, great detail. And you can see it says rotary coupler end here and then rotary coupler end on here. So that one spins as well. So very cool. Uh, only only thing I would ding on this car is the coal load is not removable, which surprised me. Um, I even kind of was pulling on it, uh, but it's definitely fixed in there. So coal load stays in there. That's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, very cool. This will look good. Maybe we'll get all three of them. I get a shot of all three of them. So let's t let's take a look at the other one because the other one's going to have that end of train device on it. All right, so here's the second one. And you can see it does say rotary coupler end here. And that coupler will spin. And here it says there's no writing for rotary coupling uh, uh, end because there is our... EOD or end of, or EOT. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's EOT, end of train device. <laughs> um, and so what happens is this will be the last car in your train and this red light will blink. And I guess this replaces a caboose now. <laughs> you don't have to have a caboose. You just see these on the end. So this coupler obviously does not turn because it's got the end of train device on there, which is going to look awesome blinking, hopefully. Yeah, this is a really nice two-pack uh, from Lionel. I really like this. Um, they actually also sold a four-pack of these with different numbers, uh, but no end-of-train device. 
So you could get six of these babies together <laughs> if you wanted. Um, and they had a bunch of different road names. There was CSX, there was Norfolk Southern, <sighs> blanking on the last one. Might have been Pennsylvania. I'm not sure. But, yeah. All right, so why don't we... Uh, well, here, wait. Let me show. Here's my other coal hopper. There's, there's the new one. Here's my older one. They're going to look cool together, I think. And uh, we'll get all three of them up and get them under my coal loader and see how it looks. All right, guys, before I uh, get this thing moving, just wanted to make sure the train device worked, and it does. So let's hook these three up to my little track mobile and see if it can handle it. <laughs> All right, guys, three, uh, three cars might be a little bit much for that track mobile, <laughs> but it handles these two new ones just fine. So, uh, yeah, very cool. Love the end of train device. Now I actually have some coal cars here for my coal station. I think they look pretty good together. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. So remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.